Hey everyone, this is Mason Hutchison and welcome back to Herb Rally, your daily herbal podcast. We typically come out with five episodes per week, so please tune in often, uh, except in the month of December 2022, we're going to be scaling that back quite a bit uh, to focus on a lot of behind the scenes, admin type of stuff, and prepare for our move back across the country to Oregon. So uh, we have over 564 episodes, so feel free to peruse those episodes and you're bound to find something of interest. Uh, Our goal for the show is to help you along your herbalist journey no matter what stage you're at. And in today's episode, we have on Pamela Worth. Pamela is the founder of a supplement company called Hello Health. Uh, You can learn more about them at hello.health. I just took a gander at a bunch of their supplements and it looks like some high quality stuff. They even have a really cool uh, mushroom blend. Uh, And just full disclosure, this is not like some sort of sponsored ad or sponsored episode. Uh, Pamela's team reached out to me. And a lot of times I don't actually, uh, this happens all the time. People will reach out to me and say, Hey, can we have so-and-so on your show? And usually if I don't know the person, it's harder for me to just, you know, accept anyone on the show, but I did look into Pamela's story. I really think she has a lot of valuable insight to share. So I thought she would be a good fit for the herb rally podcast. But anyways, I did want to point out also that Pamela has a podcast as well. It's called the encouraging wellness podcast. Uh, and you could find that in your podcast player of choice. I also want to say that it's encouraging, like with the word courage in the middle, kind of a little bit of wordplay. I'll spill it out. I'll spell it out in the show notes as well. So there's no confusion. Uh, But again, encouraging wellness podcast, your podcast player of choice. Uh, Pamela also has a book by the same name as her company called Hello Health. Uh, You can search for that on Amazon or your book purveyor of choice. Uh, I'll also include a link to the book in the show notes as well. So a huge thanks to Pamela for coming on the show, sharing her story, and sharing her company with all of us. Again, not a sponsored episode. I just thought you all might enjoy it. So also before we get into the show, I want to read another five-star written review in Apple Podcasts. And this one is from Nettle Love. So Nettle Love says, Herb Rally Podcast, accurate, informative, interesting, and fun. I like it already. Uh, So they say, interesting and diverse conversations, recordings of classes from highly regarded teachers, thought-expanding questions, and a wide range of topics that are accessible and informative to anyone, regardless of where they are on their health, wellness, and plant journeys. An excellent resource for herbalists, naturalists, mycologists, and scientists to learn and connect with the work being done by others. A podcast for the curious and anyone who lives on planet Earth. So thank you so much for the kind words, Nettle Love. Um, Couldn't have said it better myself. I I like how you point out um, the wide range of of teachers, including, you know, naturalists, mycologists, herbalists. Uh, Today's a perfect episode of that. I'm not sure if Pamela considers herself an herbalist per se, uh, but she's definitely, her work overlaps a lot of what I'm interested in personally. So I figure the Herb Rally audience would also appreciate as well. So Um, Yeah, I really love reading these reviews. So if you have a moment, if you wouldn't mind going to Apple Podcasts or your podcast player of choice and leaving some sort of written review and a star ranking, uh, always love reading them. And thank you so much. Also, a quick plug for the Herb Rally Schoolhouse before we get into the show. Uh, If you've been enjoying the Herb Rally podcast along with all the other uh, free information that we have, and you'd like to financially support us somehow, uh, we do have the Herb Rally Schoolhouse membership area. you learn more about that at herbrally.com slash schoolhouse. Uh, and if you'd like to try your first 30 days for free, you could use coupon code podcast at checkout. Basically what the Herb Rally Schoolhouse is, is a membership area where we provide our members exclusive classes, uh, video classes and whatnot. They, they have access to downloadable audio. There's also some discounts in there for some cool herbal companies. So yeah, one more time to learn more at, you could go to herbrally.com slash schoolhouse uh, and it's only $10 a month. But if you'd like to try your first 30 days for free, just use coupon code podcast at checkout. Okay, that was a lot for me today. Uh, Thanks so much for listening and thanks to Pamela for sharing uh, this episode with all of us and I will talk to you tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Sometime very soon though. So, all right, talk to you later. Bye. A little bit of housekeeping before we get into the show. The content in this podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended to cure, diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease. This information has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. We are not doctors, nor do we play one on the internet. Please seek advice from a qualified healthcare professional. Okay, MC Calico, take it away. 
yeah. Smoking herbal blends. We need some mullin and some kush, my brethren. While listening to Herb Ranley podcast again. Herbalism at its finest with Mason Hutchinson. Yeah. Hi, this is Pamela from Hello Health. And we are a lifestyle brand as well as a community for those that really need brain, gut, and immune support, particularly those with autoimmune and autism spectrum disorders. And so today what I'd like to do is just kind of share a little bit more about um, my why, about uh, how I got to where I'm at, um, and more about how large this challenge is and how many people really need help and uh, what they can do about it, you know, actually giving people tools so that they can actually do something about it. So Hello Health was founded by myself, Pamela Worth, following a neurodiversity diagnosis of my son. Um, and what happened when he was about five and a half or six was he really regressed quickly. Um, uh, eyes constantly dilated, devoid of all emotion, uh, washed his hands 30, 40 times a day, would only enter and exit rooms and situations in a particular manner, uh, strange uh, tics, both with like his neck and his uh, shoulder shrugging and uh, vocalizations, weird noises would come out, uh, just crazy things. And so he was diagnosed um, with OCD, diagnosed with Tourette's, diagnosed with um, anxiety and depression because he was really uh, struggling. Uh, he was also diagnosed as now autistic and then um, ultimately diagnosed with a brain autoimmune disorder and all of this right around the age of five and a half, six years old. And so I had doctors telling me, you know, sorry, you're gonna have to take care of the rest of his life. And I thought, you know, there's no way that this just happens to folks. Um, it was almost like a, a zombie or something had taken over his body. The whole thing was just wild. So anyway, really started digging in. Um, my background is, is uh, problem solving. I'm a management consultant. I've worked um, almost 25 years in business. And when I'm dealing with a situation that is hard to understand, I, I start to ask a lot of questions and really dig in and start looking for data so then I can, you know, actually talk to more people and make an informed decision on kind of what to do next. And so I, I, I took that same frame of mind here and, um, you know, fast forward um, over 10 years and, and he's now fine. Uh, but it was uh, it was a real, a real strange, dark time. So with that in mind, um, I ended up writing a book along with three other doctors um, well, three doctors, two other families. And then I've got a second book coming out in early 2023 um, with additional research, additional doctors, and I'm pretty excited about, about the feedback and testimonials that we're getting. Um, following the positive feedback that I was getting from people and the fact that one of the doctors that really taught me a lot of what was going on said, hey, um, you know, as we're going through this, um, he's going to be fine, but you're going to need to remove gluten, remove sugar. There's a bunch of different supplements. Some of them you can make at home. Some you're actually going to buy, but you're going to do it in these combinations and uh, give me about a year and he's going to be fine. I thought, well, okay, sure. I'm going to do this. No problem. And sure enough, about a year went by and then, and then he went back to what I'll call a normal, you know, small child and uh, hasn't, you know, reverted back since he's now a thriving teenager. Um, super athlete, uh, super student. And so I, I couldn't be more blessed. And I feel an overwhelming gratitude and an obligation to share this, share this journey with others. And so, um, you know, I'm, it's, it's through these doctor formulated supplements that are dedicated to nutrition, as well as helping others through education and building a network ultimately, so that folks don't have to navigate this in the dark on their own. And a lot of what I did when I was going through this was I really leaned hard into confidential Facebook groups. And I put out some pretty, you know, uh, uh, revealing data, if you will, around blood tests and what was going on in my family. And, and you know, thankfully, I, I found some incredible people that, you know, also wanted to share their journeys. And together, we, we were able to navigate and get through this. But I, I wonder today if, you know, maybe that wasn't the best course of action not that there was another alternative at the time, but it, it's really a goal of mine to build out a safe place for people to connect. Um, both people going through things, you know, from an autoimmune and autism spectrum diagnoses, but also 
to find practitioners. Um, a lot of practitioners want to provide integrative care, and it's difficult for themselves to put themselves out there, um, not only from a sales or marketing standpoint, but also from a messaging standpoint, because they do believe not only in traditional medicine, but they've also seen some pretty incredible things um, from a naturopathic or um, functional or integrative path. And so it really is bringing these worlds together that is so important and so impactful and, um, and really the crux of, of this community that, that's currently, um, currently being developed and transformed and, and is going to be, uh, it's going to be a really, really cool place. So, you know, I've been through, um, some really interesting situations and it's hopefully with a lot of the blogs and articles, um, both from a, nutrition standpoint, as well as thoughtfulness around toxic overloads, heavy metals, um, triggers, you know, for us, it was, uh, the blood work showed that he was low in vitamin D3, vitamin B12, genetic marker MTHFR, which come to find out is very impactful when it comes to folks with autoimmune and autism spectrum disorder diagnoses. And, um, he also had uh, a viral infection called CMV, which is very common among school age kids. And then he had high strep titers in his blood, even though he was negative for strep throat. And so that was kind of wild. I said, well, it, does that mean he has strep throat? And he goes, well, he has a strep infection. It doesn't always have to present in the throat in order to be an active infection. So that was kind of mind boggling. And, you know, the way it was described to me was all of this together uh, between MTHFR and his inability to absorb non-methylated vitamins and minerals, um, almost as if, you know, you're not eating right when you are eating right, because you just don't absorb them correctly, uh, to the, the presence of uh, gluten and sugar in the gut, which, you know, feeds bad bacteria, which travels up the vagus nerve to your brain and causes all kinds of problems. And then the infections, the viral and bacterial infection, really together created this perfect storm that the immune system just stopped working properly for lack of a better term, and the infection crossed the blood-brain barrier and started causing motor, motor vocal and mood disorders. It was um, through, you know, a bunch of different puzzle pieces, just going item by item and being patient and scared and asking for help um, and leaning on, on research and data um, and subsequent blood draws to ensure that, you know, the levels were in fact going in the right direction, that the presence of the infection was going down. The presence of the inflammation was going down. Uh, the presence of certain vitamin levels and mineral levels was going up. So all of these things had to continually be tested. And we did that quarterly to ensure that we were in fact on the right path. And so that was really, really important. Um, and so, you know, just kind of some, some thoughts and tidbits through all this was, you know, in, in thinking back, um, when it comes to health and life, don't be afraid to ask for several opinions following a diagnosis. Uh, it was, gosh, six or eight weeks of just really navigating through the dark. And we probably saw, you know, a doctor a week, if not even, there were a couple weeks where I think we really fought to get into a couple of different doctors. We went to the same pediatric practice several times and asked for different doctors. And then, um, and then subsequently, um, went and looked for specialists, whether it's immunology, uh, neurology, um, psych psychology, psychiatry. I mean, we went down a number of different, uh, different roads trying to come up with what was really going on. Um, another thing is keep an open mind when receiving feedback, understand that everyone's going to have a different perspective yet also realizing that you are your family members, ultimate decision maker. And um, there's a certain amount of data and gut trusting that has to go into this. And if something just doesn't feel right, don't be afraid to pause and say, I need to think about this. Um, learning patience. Health can be a puzzle with several factors that need to be addressed, and that can take time. And then to optimize health, review nutrition, genetic factors, environmental triggers, and examine blood work. So again, you know, thinking about this from a several prong approach, nutrition, genetic factors, any environmental triggers, and verifying this through blood work, uh, potentially even through saliva or urine or stools. All of those things can be super impactful in terms of getting a well-rounded um, picture of what's going on in your health and wellness. Some really interesting yet 
horrifying statistics are, according to AARDA, that's an autoimmune association, one in every five people, kids and adults, has an autoimmune disorder today. And so there's over 80 different disorders. And so every time there's a new symptom uh, that they find has an autoimmune root to it, they give it a new name. And when you really peel back some of these names, then you understand that a lot of the root in the autoimmune disorder diagnosis is very similar. And so there's 54 million children in the United States over the age of four. Autism affects one in every 35 to 59 children. Uh, the statistics vary depending on the source, but unfortunately the numbers are still horrifying. And that's, an, you know, we're, we're talking over a million children. Um, and so 20% of 55 million is about 11 million children that are affected by autoimmune and autism that need help. Um, this affects everyone. And obviously, people listening, you know and understand so much of what's going on here um, in your own life and journey that you know people that certainly can be positively affected by this. Autoimmune disorders have grown more than 250% since 1997. 234 billion is spent in pediatric healthcare alone. And today, more US children are placed on the autism spectrum diagnosis than are affected by cancer, diabetes, AIDS, cerebral palsy, cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, or Down syndrome combined. This is according to Autism Speaks. So in terms of a protocol, you know, if, if you're listening and you're like, gosh, now what do I do? I mean, this sounds like something that I really want to take a deeper dive into, whether it's for a parent, a sibling, yourself, a spouse, a child. Start, um, start, start thinking about this following list. And, you know, if you want to get this written out, um, it's a Hello Health protocol, and I've got it in a uh, in a way that I'm happy to send you. Um, and the Hello Health protocol starts with this. This is a start and it's not an exhaustive list. Maintain a log, a diary of new tics, new mannerisms, illnesses, both in the patient as well as in the immediate family. Medications, anything that you're going to want to remember later. Uh, see a local integrative functional doctor if you've not already done so. They are able to take a look at this both from a traditional medicine as well as potentially uh, running some blood work that might be considered a little different or out there. Um, and little or different out there, I mean by looking at vitamin levels, the presence of any infections, any potential heavy metal, any environmental overloads. All of that's considered a little bit um um, on the fringe, and it really makes a huge difference in terms of your of, of your health and wellness. Uh, the next thing is remove gluten and sugar from the diet for a minimum of six months. This feeds the bad bacteria in the gut, which then travels again along that vagus nerve up to the brain and severely, um, I mean, I don't want to say severely, but it really, really uh, makes a impact on uh, mood, cognition, brain fog, um, anxiety, depression, sleep. Uh, so much of, of what's going on, your neurotransmitters are actually managed and produced in your gut. Uh, initial blood work. You know, as you're asking your practitioner to start thinking about, hey, I really want to do a deeper dive, start to ask for some blood work on the immune function. Excuse me, the immune function. That means things like IgG, IgM, IgE, uh, bacteria. Ask them to pull for strep, ASO, and DNAs B, for mycoplasma, which is also known as walking pneumonia, very, very common and can trigger a number of different responses in people. Um, and you don't have to be hugely outwardly sick to have a walking pneumonia um, going on. Uh, viruses, ask to check for EBV, um, which is Epstein-Barr, CMV, which is cytomyg cytomegalovirus. I'm going to mix that one up. Um, might as well pull a test for COVID, for flu. Uh, check your vitamin levels, including D3, B12, genetic markers. Ask to have um, blood work or saliva work done for MTHFR. 
About half the population has MTHFR, and when it's present, you need to remove folic acid from the diet and replace it with methylfolate, which is a much more natural form. And it allows uh, those, those vitamins to really absorb into the body better. Um, helpful daily supplements, uh, you know, of course, ask your practitioner, but things to consider include um, probiotics. There's about 15 pro probiotics that are known uh, for optimal gut brain uh, function. Um, a couple of prebiotics that are particularly good for uh, preventing the overgrowth of bad bacteria in the gut and really help those probiotics get a good, a good foundation. Uh, D3, B12, methylfolate. Interesting thing is if you don't have MTHFR, methylfolate won't hurt you. But if you do have MTHFR, folic acid really is not good for you at all. Um, oregano supports bacterial infections. Olive leaf is supports uh, viral infections. Omega-3s, you know, you can take a look at fish or krill or vegan plant-based such as seaweed, sea moss, or algae, and making sure that it has both DHA and EPA. Uh, fantastic for a healthy immune response as well as just for brain support. Uh, turmeric and Boswellia serrata. So those are, you know, turmeric obviously has become more, more, um, day-to-day -day knowledge. Boswellia serrata is also known as frankincense, and it's fantastic for supporting healthy inflammation response, as well as antibacterial, antiviral, um, and antioxidant, so a healthy detox. Um, a couple of things that people have really reported having some fantastic results on include rubbing the bottom of the feet at night with tea tree oil, uh, frankincense, again, that Boswellia serrata, oregano, uh, thieves, which is a combination of things like cinnamon and cloves. And, you know, making sure that you're consistent day to day whenever possible so that you can, as, as you're, you know, going down this journal of health and wellness and, and um, documenting things, then as things can shift or change, then you can kind of manage uh, whether or not that made a positive or a negative impact on, on your overall health and wellness. So if you maintain some consistency, it makes it easier to, uh, to watch those outliers. Um, you know, remembering that health challenges can have an impact on the entire family. Consider a family psychologist that understands long-term or chronic health conditions. And it's really, uh, it's, it, it was very helpful in our family to have somebody that could talk with each member of the family independently as well as together. Because when, when one family member is going through it, each person really starts going through their own journey. Um, and it should bring folks closer together, but without an understanding of and a means of communication on how it's impacting each person, it's hard to maintain that family unit um, because it's that, there, there's just so much fear and potential miscommunication that can happen. Um, and then remember, many health conditions are a result of the body not maintaining a healthy inflammation response. So if you can maintain whatever is making the body inflamed or unhappy or angry, if you will, then that minimizes a lot of the um, firing, if you will, of the body and how it reacts and can calm things down so it can start to heal itself. By controlling areas in the environment and food that may cause inflammation, this can really help while the body heals. So these are a number of the different things that we have found, uh, feedback that we've gotten, uh, we have additional blogs and people that contribute and have been really happy um, to be getting some amazing testimonials and support. Um, the website where you can see some of these blogs and articles that folks are contributing, as well as additional research, are uh, found on www.hello.health or www.gethellohealth.com. Also on YouTube, Hello Health Nutrition and the Encouraging Wellness podcast, you'll see some really incredible stories and research and uh, data sharing with a number of different doctors and practitioners in integrative and functional health. And so that's been a wonderful resource. And we certainly try and keep people up to date um, from time to time with a email newsletter. It is not um, entirely regular. It is not entirely uh, hitting your inbox all the time. And so uh, we certainly want to be respectful of people and keep them up to date whenever things are happening, um, but not overload uh, communication devices either. Uh, in terms of products that, that we've brought to market so far, and so, 
you know, this part is, is kind of interesting. So the neurologist that had taught me which supplements to give my son when he was ill um, included some very particular ingredients. And some of them I just kind of noted as we were going through this. And so I ended up working with um, additional doctors, formulators, um, commercial manufacturing, additional certifications through things like non-GMO, CGMP, um, making sure that everything is in the United States, uh, manufactured in the United States. All of the ingredients are US-based except for turmeric and frankincense, which come from India, and then olive leaf extract, which comes from France. Um, and so some of the products that we have so far, and we have a number of other products coming out here shortly, um, you know, it was, it was interesting. We started with capsules first because uh, I wanted something that was easy to transport. I wouldn't have to worry about it spelling or measuring it or giving the wrong dosage or um, it getting too hot um, because, you know, you hear stories of it getting hot and then it kills whatever's inside. And so um, we ended up choosing heat resistant vegetarian capsules and then finding the most bioavailable combinations of those plants um, and probiotics that could go in those capsules. And so that was the way that we started. Um, and so, you know, Belly Great has two prebiotics that prevent negative overgrowth of bacteria, both of the prebiotics are organic. Uh, then we've got 15 probiotics that are uh, ideal for the gut brain access, plus vitamin D3 plus methylfolate. And then on the other side, it's really important to remember that you're not only putting good stuff in your gut, but you've got to help your gut get the bad stuff out too, for lack of a better word, right? And so ImmunoStrong has things like your omegas, uh, sunflower phosphatidylserine, which is super for um, helping with uh, sleep and ADD and anxiety. It also has uh, oregano for supporting bacterial infections, olive leaf extract for supporting viral infections, turmeric and frankincense again both fantastic for antibacterial antiviral antioxidant super for a healthy inflammation response uh, cinnamon which is super for supporting uh, fungal and parsley uh, and so you know there's 10 different things in amino strong which are just wonderful in terms of making sure that your body is uh, maintaining a a clean gut which again really really helps with your immune system overall as well as your gut and your brain. Also taking a look at things like organic uh, vitamin B12. That one is done in a liquid and a dropper. Um, B12 is fantastic for metabolism and the nervous system. Uh, multivitamin, we've got a fantastic multivitamin, which is great for general health, joint and aging. Uh, Happy Brain Mushroom has 10 different types of mushrooms. Now mushrooms are the only type of food, if you will, that actually provide a natural form of vitamin D3. Otherwise, the only other way to get it is through a supplement or through the sun. And they say even places that, even people that live in places like the Sun Belt, you still can't get enough vitamin D3, even just through your skin alone, even if you were out you know, enough of the day, um, weren't wearing sunscreen. And so we just are not getting enough. So the Happy Brain Mushroom 10 Complex is fantastic with 10 different types of mushrooms, including things like reishi, and uh, lion's mane and turkey tail and um, all kinds of yummy mushrooms, which are great for cognitive function, memory, and focus. Happy Calm Magnesium, super for sleep and mood. The type of magnesium that we use is magnesium biglycinate. It is the best form in the doctors that we worked with opinions. Um, many other types of magnesium are either not widely absorbed or they provide a lot of upset tummies. Um, a lot of people will use um, magnesium oxide or citrate to make them go to the bathroom more frequently, right? And so magnesium biglycinate is a much softer form of, of something like that on, on stools, as well as fantastic for the brain um, and really calming the body for sleep and mood. Uh, we also have organic Irish sea moss. And so this is fantastic for energy for skin, for well-being. Uh, we recently had a testimonial for someone commenting on uh, how it worked with their lungs, which I thought was interesting. And then additionally, we've got uh, more products coming out in 2023. 
uh, a number of them are actually going to be in liquid. We've got a number of people asking for liquid supplements as opposed to capsules, even though capsules can be opened and very easily put into food or drink. We have folks asking for um, for liquid as well. And so we're going to be rolling those out. Uh, the one thing that's been a little tricky with the liquid supplements is I feel very passionately that we don't add sugar. And so sugar obviously is in so many different things. And if you're going to eat sugar, I've always said you might as well make it worthwhile. And so I, you know, I, I am committed to making sure that we've got some liquid supplements that uh, will taste okay, um, but not, but not have sugar in them. So that's been, uh, that's been a, a challenge to pull that together, but we're making some great progress. Uh, the Hello Health Advisory Board has just been super. Uh, we've got uh, four different doctors ranging from MDs to DOs uh, to nutritionists to Ayurvedic, as well as we've got a former CEO of a major supplement company um, and uh, strong influencers, both in autoimmune and autism uh, communities. And so we've got some wonderful feedback and um, guidance in, in this area. And so we're very, very blessed as we move through this. Um, the products that we roll out, uh, we really try and keep both kids and adults in mind. Uh, you know, we, we, we spend a lot of time talking about nutrition in adults and how important it is to supplement. And we don't really spend enough time with children. And so I remember when I took uh, one of my kids for a well check, many years after this had gone by and they said, you know, is your son on anything? And I said, well, he's taking a daily probiotic and omega three. And I didn't really feel like going into anything else. And uh, they said, Oh, those are great ideas. Really, really good ideas. And I said, yeah, I wish you had told me, you know, many, many years ago, what a good idea that was, you know, maybe I would have been able to forego some of the other stuff that we had gone through, but um, you know, just not being afraid to make sure that you're talking to your practitioners about, um, testing for certain vitamin levels and making sure that they really are getting enough um, enough nutrition because it's really hard to get enough nutrition into kids when they crave carbs and they crave sugar and you know frankly depending on the types of environment they're at at school or sports or whatever you know it's kind of a natural um, thing in the U.S. to bring things like donuts or cookies or treats and not necessarily the fresh fruits and vegetables and or a a toy or something instead. So just kind of keeping an eye on that is, is important. Uh, and, you know, again, we, we continue being focused on data research. Uh, we've been in a number of different publications uh, sharing our story and really thank you today for listening as we've run through so many of these different things. Um, you know, in terms of finding us again, the website is www.hello.health. Uh, we're also on Amazon. Uh, the store is hello health. Uh, we're also on walmart.com, kroger.com, giantneagle.com, uh, fair, Etsy. And so we've really tried to make sure that we are in places uh, that will positively help people. Uh, and we really look forward to continuing the discussion with you and your families. So thank you so much and really appreciate your time. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for listening to the Herb Rally podcast. If you'd like to hear more from us here at Herb Rally, we now have a text message community, believe it or not. Basically, it's just updates from us. We send about one to seven texts per week, uh, notifying you about new events, videos, courses, podcasts. You get the idea. It's pretty much like our email newsletter, just in text form. So if you'd like to receive text messages from Herb Rally, just text JOIN, that's J-O-I-N, to the number 541-256-2895. Again, that's JOIN to number 541-256-2895. And to stop receiving texts, that's easy too. Just text STOP to the same number. It'll opt you out immediately. Okay, thanks again for listening. Have a great rest of your day.